everybody, my name is Glenn Chun, and today I've got some Black Ops footage for you. And I know what you're probably thinking, this is exactly the same map that I brought you a couple of days ago. It's on Jungle again, and this is a different gameplay, I assure you. Because in that match, I think I was using the AK-47, or maybe even the Commando, but this time I'm using the AUG. I've got the Joker face on there. And uh, yeah, it's it's a good gameplay. Uh, I managed to clutch a flag capture, unlike last time. I, well, I say clutch. It wasn't really a clutch. It's not like the enemy was shooting at me, and then I still caught it. But um, I think it, it, it was a clutch in the sense that I ran in by myself, and then the enemy was sort of closing in. I clutch, I get the flag, and then all of a sudden, uh, I basically get out of there alive. And that is the way in which it is a clutch. But I would like to talk uh, uh, about... Uh, today something a bit different to that. Uh, I'm talking about hobbies and I'm not talking about hobby as in gaming. I'm not talking about gaming as a hobby because I think gaming as a hobby uh, it's it's not bad. I, I mean it's not like it's it's not the worst hobby you can have but even but gameplay uh, I tend to find games aren't really that relaxing. I, I, I don't know a single person in, in even if they think otherwise, even if they protest otherwise, I have not met anybody in my whole life who actually sits down, plays on a game, and then somehow relaxes and cools off. You know what I mean? Everybody, every time I see anybody play a computer game, be it in person or online, they all seem to get mad, and they do. They, you know, and I think that's just the nature of games. You know, I mean, if you, I mean, if you're, if it does something that you you didn't think it would do, and then you lose or something for that reason, that's annoying. Uh, there's a number of things that ir that irritate people. I think when it comes to games, there are, there are a number of things that irritate people. So I think it's important to really have a hobby outside of gaming. I think it's important to do something in your life that actually does calm you down. So, um, I've got one or two things really uh, that are that are like that for me. Uh, and one of them that I would like to talk about today, I mentioned it briefly in my last podcast, Host Pro Episode 5. Um, but I didn't really talk about it properly because I was a bit interrupted. But uh, it's... It was drawing, you know, and this is something that I'm going to be honest, I am guilty of not really following my own advice on this one for quite some time, because basically I used to be reasonable at drawing. I actually got to a point when I, when I, uh, in drawing where I could actually draw some nice images, and then I sort of stopped, uh, and I only recently picked it back up, and it's basically, and I picked it back up by using a red biro pen to draw a picture of Roger Federer. And I don't know if you saw it on the podcast, I don't think it showed it in very good quality, but it's actually quite a decent image. Uh, despite being drawn with a red biro, it was actually quite good. And basically what I thought to myself was, you know what, if I got myself, I don't know, a, a, a small, I don't know, trio of pencils, I might have been able to do an actual nice image out of this, you know. And I thought, you know what, let's just start drawing again. And the thing is, when I, when I draw... I'm focused solely on making the image look good, you know what I mean? It, it's, a, it's a singularity of purpose and I love it, uh, of just sitting down and, uh, well, just basically focusing on doing something peaceful, where you can be sort of alone with no sort of other noise and it's quite nice and that's what I like about drawing and then you get something quite pleasant out of it that you can keep. Like, I mean, when it comes to gameplay, even if you do do something well, uh, like I say, you win a Black Ops match. Well, that moment is fleeting. You don't have anything to keep out of it. Um, but uh, if you do a picture and you do a good picture, you get to keep your picture. If you know what I mean. Um, and there's other things that I do to, uh, to relax, not just drawing pictures. Like another thing I find quite relaxing is tennis. Uh, tennis is, as opposed to ties in with the Roger Federer picture, but uh, tennis for me. It's kind of one of his. It's not truly relaxing in a way, and it, it and, and also it's not really. Um, you know, it's not it's not like drawing where you can just sit down and be at peace. I mean, because if you do something bad in tennis and like the momentum goes completely against you, it can be a bit frustrating. But the thing with tennis is, it's not like it winds me up really. It's not like uh, I, I mean I tend to enjoy myself when I'm playing tennis. Uh, to be honest, and like I know there's those moments where you just go fuck, like you know, because there's there's always gonna be moments like that whenever you're playing some kind of physical activity and it doesn't do, and you don't, and things don't quite go your way. There's always gonna be that little moment where you go damn it, but um, 
with tennis, uh, more often than not, I find it quite therapeutic just, st you know, planting your feet onto the ground and to get that perfect backhand back over the net. I like that element of it. But I think the thing that, the thing for me, my, my ultimate hobby that always relaxed the hell out of me um, was driving. For me, it was driving and um, and it's a bit... I, again, I suppose driving isn't ultimately uh, what most people would call a relaxing activity. Like for most people, it probably isn't a relaxing activity. But um, it it seemed for me it was like even when I was sitting in a traffic jam. Well, yeah, okay, I was sitting in a traffic jam, but I, I never found traffic jams made me angry as such. I just sort of sat down and and just waited them out really, but. For me, the, the, the type of driving that really relaxes me is sort of like motorsports. And, uh, that sounds a bit dumbass of a comment. That sounds like a dumbass comment, I bet. In the sense that, oh yeah, the thing that really relaxes me is driving as fast as possible. Yeah, that's not, I guess that's not really the most relaxing thing. Like, uh, just a myriad of triple kills. I tried to shoot down that helicopter, but I don't think we can with uh, chopper gunners and such. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, I suppose a lot of people are thinking, like, motorsports calms you down. How? <laughs> it's about driving as fast as you can, but it does. And the reason why is it's a singularity of purpose of just trying to go really, really fast. That was a dumbass mistake right there. But it's that, it's that moment where you're just sitting down there and you are focused solely on getting tenths of a second. There's not really very much to agitate you, really. I mean, I guess in a, in a race, I don't even find getting bumped into agitating. Really, uh, I'm quite lucky in that sense. Oh, scuff controller saved me. That's the th now that's the type of situation that a scuff controller will help you out with. That right, right there, you know, if I hadn't had a scuff controller under normal controller, I would have to go to the circle. This is when I captured the flag, by the way. But I jump out, take him out, and now look, I'm by myself. I can see there's enemies ahead of me. Are they going to come and get me? Oh, you bet your ass they are. Now they're behind me, and now I jump, I take him out, and then I get out of there somehow alive, and then. I don't get hit by that grenade, and then it's like, oh god, this guy, oh, and now I'm stunned, and now I'm short, and now I'm certain that I'm dead. And now I'm getting stunned again, and I'm just like, I've thrown a stun out, a stun out myself there, try and get myself in distance. And now they're capturing the flag, so I'm throwing grenades at them, I'm trying to get out of this point alive. I've captured the flag, I've got some extra points on my team, and been a real pain in their ass. And now I'm alive still, and I've gotten out of that situation without getting killed. And I'm going to call that down upon them as well. <laughs> So that's what I mean, look, and now I think I've basically buried them in A or something like that. I don't know, something weird. But, you know what I mean? And here's the point where I forget that that's my own thing. I'm just like, what? Mistakes were made? No, they weren't. That wasn't mine. I'm like, yeah, it was. I, was like, I didn't realise I'd uh, done that, but uh, whatever. But yeah, motorsport for me, I find it very, uh, very, rela I find it quite relaxing, really, and it helps being good at it, I guess. I mean, I am quite good at motorsport, without meaning to toot my own horn, as the expression goes. I'm pretty decent, you know, I've won races before, uh, and, the, well, if you're good enough to win races, I guess you're good enough to say, you know, you're pretty reasonable. That's my thinking, that's my thought process behind that. I'm... I'm not saying for a second that I'm like, oh, I'm amazing at most sport. I'm not really. I'm just sort of decent enough to go quite quick, and I tend to like that. That is the game win, but the point is this. I think if your life is chaotic, don't rely on video games to basically as a means of chilling out and relaxing, because I don't think video games really work. I think you need to find something, something else to relax you, just something that isn't video games. That's the point of this video, then now I say toodles.